All right, Jacob, thank you so much for coming on and for speaking with us. I'm so excited to have this conversation with you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. It's my pleasure to be on. Thanks for having me. Of course. So it's no secret that you've been in the industry for quite some time. I mean, you've been nominated even for two Kids' Choice Awards. That's crazy. <laughs> when I found that out about you, I'm like, that's nuts. I mean, you're not you're not old by any means. I mean, you've had a very <laughs> lucrative and successful career. Take me back to the moments in time where you're finding out that you're nominated for such big time awards, like being nominated for the Kids' Choice Awards. What did that feel like? Where were you? Tell us a story. What you got? Yeah, I was like, wow, no one really talks about that. <laughs> um, I was around 11, 12 years old. It was at like the height of um, my time as Gumball Watterson on The Amazing World of Gumball. And um, and I didn't even think it was possible because that was a Cartoon Network show and Kids' Choice Awards was Nickelodeon. But it had reached such uh, a vast audience that it, it, it fit that pool. And like I said, I was... I was in the age range of that audience and um, that felt really strange, but it, it was really surreal because like you said, I mean, I was just a kid, but um, I was, I was, I felt really honored at the same time that people love the show so much. And um, thank you to all of you to this day who nominated me. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that you were in the age range of the audience that nominated you too. That's like <laughs> that's equivalent in my head to being like in school and having your peers like nominate you for for a mutual award, but obviously on a much more grand scale. That's really neat. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's so cool. So in terms of your career, you've been in so many different types of shows. You've done voiceover acting. You've done just standard acting. You've done you've done it all. So what I would like to know is from an actor to an actor, what would you like to give yourself? in terms of advice, if you were to go back and talk to your younger self, like, would you tell yourself, buckle up, this is going to be a wild ride? Or are you going, <laughs> like, what would you say to your younger self or even to younger generations of people that are looking to have a career like yours to be consistently working on sets? Um, I would definitely say to um, surround yourself with the people who truly care about you. Um, and that was advice that was constantly... Um, passed down to me by my parents, who were also actors before me. Uh, my dad played A.J. Quartermain in General Hospital back in the 90s. And it's kind of how I got into acting was because <laughs> of him. Um, but because of them, I was I was sort of raised in this family that knew the inner workings of the acting industry. And um, I was I, I was constantly trying to surround myself with people who were real, um, who really cared about me. And, you know, it, like any industry, you know, there's always going to be those very competitive people that are very cutthroat, you know, it's it's a business. But at the same time, you sort of have to build like this, um, this family for yourself. And that's always really important to have those people that have your back, who love you, and care about you. So definitely do that. Definitely make sure to to keep on that. I like that. I, I always like talking about the support system. I think I agree with you. That's probably the most important key component, key component is having a support system that's able to be there for you when you're having your good days, when you're having your every day in between. Now, for you, like you mentioned that your parents are in the industry and even with your dad having the role that he did back in the 90s on General Hospital, which is <laughs> so cool. My, my parents are huge, huge fans of soaps. I am too, but they, my that's grandma, awesome. every day, you know, up in the morning watches it. He loves it. <laughs> Would you say that that was obviously it was helpful to a certain degree with being able to learn how to navigate the industry? It's a lot easier to understand it when you have somebody else to kind of provide guidance. But overall, would you say that that was kind of a pro having parents in the industry to be able to teach you? Or were there ever times where you're like, hey, mom, dad, look, I'm just going to work with my coach on this one. I need <laughs> you to be mom and dad and help me cook and help me pick out an outfit for a carpet. Like, what is that like? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, it was definitely a major plus. I honestly have no idea how I would have navigated that world if not for them. Um, they were with me every step of the way. And again, I was so young. I started when I was five. And so I, I definitely needed them for sure. Um, and I'm super fortunate. You know, not everyone has that. Um, and I'm really, I feel really grateful that I did have that. So thank you, mom and dad. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I, I love it when people give kudos to their parents still, especially once you get into your 20s, your 30s. I feel like people kind of, you know, eh, you know, I love that you do that. That's very nice of you. 
Uh, my next question to you is, I know, like we mentioned earlier, you know, you've done a bunch of different types of acting. You've been in a booth, you've been on a set, you know, you've been in your body, you've been the voice of characters, so many different characters. I mean, you've got the amazing world of Gumball and To Your Eternity, just to name a few, the Goldbergs and, and middle school, the worst years of my life. Do you have a certain type of acting that you like more than the other? Is there... What, give us a little bit of behind the scenes, maybe even for like prep work for voiceover, for animation. Just talk to us a little bit about that. I'm always curious because I know that it's it's acting, but it's two very different types of acti- act- acting. You're working very different muscles there. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's They're both so different, but at the same time, they're so similar. They, they, they're part of the same uh, group, you know, theatrical voice acting, but they take vastly different approaches. Um, I don't know if I could prefer one over the other because they're, because they're so different, it's hard to compare them. I love the aspect of theatrical acting where you get to physically step into a character um, and you get to take over their physical quirks and personality, their facial expressions, all that gets picked up on camera. Um, their micro expressions, everything like that. But with voice acting, you you sort of have to step into their shoes in a different way through solely your voice. There's no camera. It's not going to pick up on your body movements, your facial expressions. All your emotion has to come through your voice, which is hard to do. It takes some exaggeration on your end. But at the same time, you have to keep it very grounded and realistic. And that balance can be tricky to find. But I love it. I, it's it's great. <laughs> Very well said. Well, the ne- the next question that I have for you is I want to ask you if you're able to divulge anything. Um, obviously, don't tell us anything that you can't. But do you have anything that you're super excited about in terms of your acting career that's coming up this year that you might be able to tell us about anything at all? Yeah, um, there there are a couple things that I can talk about um, to your eternity uh, where I voice Fushi the immortal. Um that is in it's uh it's currently in season two right now um i think we have like 10 11 episodes out right now um which means we probably have like 10 or 9 more so (laughs) i'm really excited for those to be coming out we're gonna be pumping those out every sunday um and uh boruto i voice code um and he's gonna be coming back soon i think the last time i was on was like maybe uh, a few months ago, four months ago, something like that. But he is coming back, um, and he's going to be coming back stronger, better than ever. Um, and one thing that I can't quite talk about, but I will tease a little. Um, I do have my very first uh, game coming out, um, where I voice a character in that, and I can't quite talk about it yet. But it is a part of a franchise that I hold dear to my heart, and I love, and I've grown up on. So. Fingers crossed that I get to talk about that soon. I hope it'll be this year, but yeah. <laughs> that's so neat. So, okay. So basically you're voicing a character in a game that's very near and dear to you. And that's, yes. where, where that's so neat though. That is <laughs> be able to step in and do something like that. It's even better when you have like this nostalgic connection to it, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When I got the calls, like I love the I, <laughs> I want to say the series cause I love it so much, but yeah, but soon, soon. Soon. Okay, cool, cool. Very good. Good to know. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. And then my final question to you is I want to talk a little bit about I'm a very charitable type of person. I love working with different organizations. So I want to give you the space to speak a little bit about being a celebrity ambassador with the Jonathan T- Foundation. And I want for you to tell the audience a little bit about it. Maybe what is it that piqued your interest to be a celebrity ambassador? Um, how can they gain more awareness about this foundation? I just wanted to give you the space to be able to kind of speak on that a little bit. Of course. Thank you so much. The uh, The Jonathan Foundation I have been a part of for, I want to say almost 10 years now, something like that. Um, it's It's been a very long time, but um, the Jonathan Foundation um, is founded by a wonderful woman named uh, Raja Mahaba, and they what they basically do is get the proper IEPs and education assessments for children with learning disabilities. And um, it doesn't even have to be learning disabilities. There's a story that they tell quite often about uh, a young boy who had a sweat gland disorder and it affected um, how he was able to learn in school. Um, And they got the proper assessment for him so he could get his 
personalized education plan so he can move forward and and graduate and you know make something of himself and um and that means a lot to me because someone in my family um has a learning disability and um and it means a lot to be a part of something like that where i can i can use my platform to raise awareness for that kind of message and um you know that's 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 really what i do that's that's my job um as a celebrity youth ambassador like you said um i use my platform to raise awareness for this um they have um annual fundraisers uh the jonathanfoundation.org if any of you are interested um in donating or if you have a family member or friend <clears throat> struggling with a learning disability or any kind of disability that affects their education, you can contact them and they will fight for you and get that uh, assessment that they need. Wow. Really well said. Thank you so much for educating us on that beautiful organization. I'm definitely going to check into it more. I, I really like their message and I really think that that's a really great organization that we need more of like that. So thank you for sharing. And I'm glad that it's so near and dear to your heart. I can tell in your <laughs> response that yeah. it really touches you. And I'm glad that you've been a part of it for so many years and for so many more to go, it seems like too. So thank you. Well, thank you for giving me the time to talk about it. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming on and for spending some time with us. We really appreciate it. You're so lovely, Jacob. Best in luck <laughs> with everything that you do. And I hope that we get to talk soon about this, this upcoming project. I'm excited. I'm very excited <laughs> to find out what it is. So thank you again for your time. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good one.